Hey friends, it's Essentially Jessie. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. We are here for all the fun fragrance stuff. Anyway, today I want to share with you guys my top seven fragrances that I am most excited about pulling out for fall. I have waited all summer. It is still going to be blazing hot where I live. We live in the south, so it will still be warm for another month or two. One of these I've kind of peeked out and started using some, but I'm really ready for the cooler weather. Let me know in the description box below. Where do you guys live? When does fall really start where you live? Fall probably doesn't start here until mid-September to October. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just the way it is in the South. Anyway, I am excited to share these with you guys. Um, also drop me your scent of the day in the comment section below because I wanna know. Anyway, starting us off is one of my favorite new fragrances of this year. I got it this year. Not really sure what year it came out. I have a full fragrance review on it. Anyway, this is Resendo Matu number five. Oh, like so, so good. I've been wearing this this summer, but every time I put it on, I think this is really more fall and winter appropriate, but I don't care. It's not heavy and overbearing, so, but it is a little bit spicy, which, I don't know it's really good and I wore it yesterday um, and I just kept smelling myself it just smells so good so Resendo Matu number five this is floral amber sensual musk it is so so good and if you have not smelled this one yet you have got to get a sample and get your nose on it I am wearing a I'm putting a big dent in this one I just love it and I wear it all the time anyway Resendo Matu number five in the number seven spot. I kind of put it down on the list because I've kind of been sneaking it in during the summer, but I'm still super excited to wear that this fall. Okay, one that is probably no shock to you guys, Oud for Greatness. I just cannot make myself pull this out in spring and summer because it is a powerhouse. My friend Chelsea is actually possibly talking about decluttering Oud for Greatness. And I said, it's okay. I can make you a sample anytime because guess what? It will take probably my whole lifetime to go through this one bottle. I love it so much, but it is so stout. It is, it projects so well. It's just, it's a beast as we all know, but I love it. And I cannot wait for the cooler temperatures to rock Oud for Greatness. I didn't wear it too much last year. I don't really know why, but I am really excited to wear it this year. Okay, next up is another one. This one is Navitus Parfums Exalt Me. This is another one that, I mean, you can kind of tell by the bottle, it's dark. I have a full fragrance review probably on most all of these. There might be one that I don't, so um, you can check those out. But Exalt Me is a little bit boozy. Well, it's very boozy. It's also very stout, kind of like Uber Greatness. They don't smell anything alike, but they're so just pow in your face that I could not bring myself to wear either one of these this summer. So I'll be wearing them a lot in the fall. So that's Navitus Parfums Exalt Nui. I really want to get Rev Nui as well. There's several in their, in the Navitus Parfums, like, discovery set that I really want to smell and get full bottles of. Um, so maybe I'll get some more this fall and winter. Next up is a fragrance that I've also kind of snuck around and worn just a little bit here and there, but I really feel like it's going to do its magic in the fall and winter. This is V Conto. It's actually five Conto. So I don't remember how to say five in Italian. I used to know. There's a lot of things that I've known and forgotten. But anyway, back when I was doing opera, I had to sing a lot in Italian and it's all left me. Anyway, um, this is Mirabile and this is a vanilla, but a green, a little bit spicy vanilla. This is the one in the navy blue bottle. I love this bottle. I don't know if you can see it against my black shirt, but um, it's beautiful. I love this fragrance. I haven't worn it too much. If I might have worn it. I might have worn it a little bit in early spring, but I have definitely not worn it this summer. I mean, even just the bottle with it being in a velvet, you know, packaging, it just makes me think of like warm, warmth, being warm, fall and winter. It's almost like it's got its own little sweater <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, okay, three more to go. So this one is one that I discovered last winter and I'm dying to wear it. I haven't put much of a dent in it because it's been so hot. This is Madeira by Omnia 
Profumi. I always forget who it's by because this is the only fragrance from that house that I have. But I have a full fragrance review on this. I died. I bought, I blind bought this. And when I tell you, I blind, I blind bought it with something else that I was not super excited about. This is beautiful. This is like Gourmand Central. It is so, so, so good. So Madeira is like a Gourmand. Oh, I got a full fragrance review on it, but it is delicious. It is projecting. It is long lasting. In fact, most of these that are on, I think all these that are on this list, and I think that's probably why I've kind of held back on wearing them in the summer because they are beasts. Um, I would say probably out of this whole list that the Resendo Matu is probably the least beastly, <laughs> but it still performs really well. Like I said, I sprayed it on myself yesterday morning about eight o'clock and at noon I could still smell it. I was actually cooking, so there were a lot of smells going on and I was cooking and I could smell it. Every time I moved my arms, I could smell it. So it has really good longevity. Okay, next up is another new one to my collection. This is Mazzolari's Vaniglia. This is a vanilla unlike any vanilla. It is, it has so much like rich depth to it. So when people talk about vanillas, a lot of times they talk about Tijotas, um, indulged by Tijota. And they'll put Mazzolari Vaniglia kind of with that. This has so much more going on. It's almost like it has a chocolatey cacao note to it. And like powdered chocolate or something. But I wore this a few times this summer and realized in when I was hot and realized very quickly, this is not for me in the summer. So I have been holding out on it and I have like a little tiny baby dent, but I'm guessing by the end of fall and winter, it will be a much larger dent. So this is Mazzolari's, Mazzolari's Vaniglia. It's beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It's kind of similar to Resendo Matu. It's a little bit taller if you have that bottle. And um, anyway, it's just it's beautiful. So like I said, it's got something else in there with it, like a powdered cacao or something that just really did not work with my skin in the heat, but I am so pumped to wear it this winter. And my last and final fragrance on my top seven for fall niche edition. I will be doing a designer edition. I'm also doing top 10, I think top 10, spicy vanillas for fall. I think a lot of vanillas, like I said, kind of come off really, really sweet, uh, more like Jessica Simpson fancy, and these are gonna be more grown-up vanillas. Anyway, um, but my last one is an oldie but a goodie, and it's side effect. I haven't worn this since probably February, because it gets warm here early in the year. We basically have forever summer. <laughs> it's so hot here forever. Um, anyway, Side Effect is just one of those fragrances that I will always come back to fall and winter. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a sweet fragrance. I also, this is in the same vein as Killian's Angel Share. I also love that fragrance. If you ask me tomorrow which one I like better, it might change from which one I like today. Um, I have a battle video between Killian's Angel Share and Side Effect because I feel like you probably don't need both, although I have both. If you like boozy fragrances, then maybe you need both. But if you don't, if you're just like, I just need a one hit wonder for, not one hit wonder, but like a one fragrance in that genre, if you will, um, then check out my video, my battle video between Killian's Angel Share and Initio's Side Effect. This. A side effect is a beautiful fragrance. Angel Share, beautiful fragrance. Love the packaging on that one too. But I am really excited to pull these fragrances out. Yes, I have two from Initio on my list. Um, like I said, I'm gonna make a designer list. I am just as excited about my designer list as I am my niche fragrances. I know a lot of people, I'm friends with another, well, my friend Chelsea, she is kind of done with designer fragrances. So we're all kind of in different places in our fragrance journey, but this is where I'm at for now. And ask me again in December what I'm wearing and it may be different fragrances, but these are some that I've held off on all summer long and I'm really excited to start wearing start pulling them out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click that notification bell to be notified of all future videos, reviews, all the things. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're excited about wearing for this fall. Is there a fragrance or two or 10 that you've kind of 
put to the back burner because you know mm, I probably shouldn't wear that in summer but now you're ready to get them out let me know in the comment section below and as always check out my Instagram I post my scent of the day sometimes over there and just some other things when I get new fragrances and different things like that also I'm doing some massive decluttering I've already filmed one decluttering video like on top of the ones that I've already made so there'll be one coming out in the next few weeks but uh, I need to do some more. So you can see what I'm selling in my Mercari uh, link below. I want you guys to have kind of like first dibs at my fragrances because I've reviewed most of them. So you kind of know what they smell like and all those things. And if not, you can search for essentially Jesse and then whatever the fragrance is. And I'm sure that I have got some content on it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know somebody had mentioned actually several of you have said either on Instagram or over here in the YouTube comments that you were looking for my Mer Mercari account and could not find it. And it's just essentially Jesse. but I will place the link below and I will try to do that henceforth so that we can, so that you can just easily access that, especially whenever I do declutter videos. Thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.